Hey, welcome back. We are doing YouTube lives uh, tutorials with my makeup artist, Jennifer. We already did the eyebrow while answering questions about scale fluctuations. We're doing, we did an eyeshadow video addressing emotional eating and what to do when you see free snacks. And now we're doing face makeup and I'm looking and waiting for you guys to come in with questions that are awesome that I can help answer. Meanwhile, let's take a look at what Jennifer's doing. What is this? Um, so this is the foundation. I went ahead and primed your skin. And you're using Ilya. She's been using Ilya yes. on me, which I haven't been negatively reacting to, which is really helpful. Yeah, it's a really clean, great brand, super lightweight. And you put it, mix it with I just, moisturizer? No, this was your primer. Um, and then I put your foundation here, and then I just apply it with a brush first, kind of everywhere. Just everywhere. After I, I don't like to and put it right eyeshadow. up under the eyes because we're going to put concealer. Oh, I usually do both. You don't like the less product you put, the better, because then that's when you get more. With the more product you put, you get more risk for creasing and cracking and all that. So I like that's to keep really that area tip. clean and only put the concealer under there. I don't do that. I don't wonder if everyone watching. So bringing it down the neck a little Should bit. Should I take off the earrings? Are they in your way? No, they're fine. Okay. So eyebrows and eyeshadows done. Please come in and ask me questions. But in the meantime. We're just getting a nice tutorial. So you do a uh, brush I just, paint on the foundation, yeah, which was brush it on, so we can just really awesome. get it in all the nooks and crannies. And is this a wet? This is a blender? damp beauty blender, um, and then I just go back and kind of bounce it everywhere, and it picks up any excess product, and it really leaves that nice airbrush finish. Because with the brush, you can get streaks. Right, totally. And I love that you're not putting it under my. Eye. I mean, I don't love that I look like a clown, but I love that you're not doing both yeah the okay. less I, products I do like everything leaves less room for error less product less room for error and then I have that little dot that came up under my eye but it's not spreading and it's fading so I'm hoping it's just like a pop blood vessel or something it's we're gonna just go gently bouncing everywhere Ooh, Kayla is asking such a good question no can you pass my bag and grab me a Vitapod Chanel. Kayla I'm I just discovered Kayla you're my girl now. I'm telling you, Kayla, after years of research on looking for the best water enhancer, I came across the best and demanded we work together. So I finally <laughs> just got a code. Even though I've been sharing this for a while, I finally just got a code so you can get it too. So this is the best water enhancer and I'll tell you why for a million reasons. Okay, first of all, it's called Vita Pod. You could just go to vitapodworld.com. My code is nutrition babe, and you can go to it right. Like, there's no special link. It's just use that, and you get how much off, Noah? I think like ten percent. Ten percent off, which is awesome because they don't have any other discounts. Okay, I'll tell you why this is my favorite water enhancer. First of all, I drink a ton of water, um, so I need a flavor. Like, eventually, I need a flavor. Eventually, in the day, I gotta get a flavor. I don't want juice. I don't want a six dollar Starbucks passion fruit. Nothing. Um, I don't want sugar, I don't want calories. Um, so that's my thing. It's like, I love water enhancers because they get me drinking more water. They're great as mixers for cocktails, but I don't want calories. And so a lot of them have 15 to 45, like athletic greens, right? It's our IV, liquid IV, 45 calories, so much sugar. Um, so I get that like sometimes if you're a cyclist, it's helpful to have you know, a water enhancer that actually has some sugar in it. That's why Beach Body Hydrate is great. Like if you're doing a long endurance race or something, you might want a few grams of sugar to help, you know, your glycogen stores and give you the energy you need to work out. But for me, who's just like sitting at my desk or like driving in a car um, and just wants a flavor to my water, uh, I really don't want it to have calories or added sugar. And the cool thing about Vitapod World um, or Vitapod, is they worked with a incredible uh, PhD, an incredible nutrition PhD out of, what is it, Duke University? Out of a big university. And he did all the research to realize that there are a few key minerals that Americans are 100%. Like, it's just like we're so lacking in a few key minerals. Um, so one of those is magnesium. I don't know if you've heard, but magnesium is 
growing as just a very common deficiency in America right now. And we don't want that because magnesium is super important for our mood, um, feeling relaxed, right? Like we have all this stress going on. Um, magnesium can also help with constipation. It can help with mood. Um, it can help with a lot of things. And magnesium is really rich in foods like nuts that we don't typically eat so many of. Um, in America, and I typically don't eat a lot of nuts anyway, just because they can be really caloric and things like that. So it's not so easy to always get magnesium in the diet and things like that. So I love that Vitapod has electrolytes and minerals, but the caveat is that some of these enhancers that actually contain electrolytes and vitamins and minerals, there's too much, there's too much. There are, there is a brand Element that they have a thousand milligrams of sodium in their pod. So I get it, like if you are in a hot yoga class and you're I don't know, doing crazy burpees or something and you feel like you need the added salt and like maybe an enhancer that is that much salt because mm -hmm. you have really sweaty, salty sweat like can help replete your electrolytes. But for the average person, a thousand milligrams in a packet that you're drinking in water, probably really not necessary. We eat a lot. We consume a ton of a sodium in America from our packaged snacks and fast foods as it is. So you do not need that much sodium. So what I like about Vitapod is while they have potassium and magnesium and delicious flavor and no added sugar, they don't have ridiculous amounts of sodium. So you could actually have up to seven of these and be fine in day. And yes, that is an, a question I had to ask the PhD because the doctor who worked and formulated the product, because I love it so much, I drink so many of them, that I'm like, what's my max a day? Um, because I drink so much water and this makes water so much better. So he said you could have seven a day because it's a modest amount of electrolytes that helps fill the nutrition gap that we have in America um, because it's there's so many reasons our depleted soil, the fact that we just eat the wrong foods, all these things. So Vitapod, huge fan. The watermelon is, the watermelon, the pomegranate are my current favorites. The coconut is delicious. The only flavor I'm not such a fan of is the lime. The lemon lime is, it's a little, I don't know. I typically don't like lemon lime a lot of things unless it's like, you know, my old days I used to love a good diet spray, but it's, it's not as sweet. So I don't love the lemon lime. Obsessed with the watermelon, the coconut and the pomegranate, oh, to die for. Okay, so now I'm happy because before when I didn't have any concealer under my eyes, I did look like a clown. But now we're showing up, showing up. Okay, so let's just do a recap of what you did. So I did a little cream bronzer just around the perimeter of the face to contour and then to kind of warm it up. We do it on the cheekbones. I, I wish the lighting it, were better in this room. Um, up on the forehead and underneath the chin, just. Points. You put concealer under my chin? No, uh, cream bronzer. The cream bronzer. Yeah, just high points where the sun would naturally hit you and kind of make you a little more tan. It just warms it up. Okay, so, so three flat. steps so far. So one is all over foundation, just not under the eye. Yeah. Then you did a darker color cream right bronzer here. right here. It's just slightly darker. You As the contour, harsh. instead yeah. of like a dark brown like I do. You just do a slightly darker foundation color. It's just a more natural sun kissed. And that was right here. Now. I take it on the forehead, on the cheekbones, under the chin, and then you just like want to drag just a little around the perimeter of the face because naturally the sun. No nose. The nose will come back into after uh -huh. um, the under eye. And then lighter concealer. Lighter concealer under the eyes, and then just areas you want to highlight. I since it's a lighter shade, I put a little on the forehead right here, a little down the bridge of the nose on the cupid's bow and on the yeah, middle of and the chin. always around my bot, my lip, I feel like I always got schmutz, right? Remember <laughs> schmutz. I told you that on the first day, I got like lots of schmutz here. Just like different colors of freckles, all this stuff. Yeah, so anywhere you want more coverage, you can go back in with the concealer. If you're and Jennifer trying to, knows I like good coverage. If you're trying to use it as a highlighter, you wanna to stick to a lighter shade. If you're just going back to cover maybe a blemish or um, sunspots or anything like that, you wanna go with something that's closer to the shade of your foundation. And you use Ilya, you're using the brand Ilya for all of it? Uh, for, for the, the concealer, I am using the Kosas oh, right. Revealer like Concealer. This. It's my favorite for, especially under eyes, because it's super moisturizing. It's like a medium coverage that is buildable. 
so you're not going to get that super powdery, really matte look under there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kayla's saying it's crazy with these salty packets being advertised everywhere. I can't believe it. I just can't believe how Element has a thousand milligrams of salt in a packet. I personally like to have more than one of these a day. Like I have one after my workout. I have one like usually to probably like two or three in the mm -hmm. afternoon, like after lunch, just when, you know, sweet cravings, trying to get the day going, trying to hit my water goal, all the things. So like having a packet that has a lot of added sugar, calories, or salts is just like not, wouldn't work for me. That's why I'm really excited about this, but I that I found it. Um, thank you for all that info on LMNT. I was about to purchase some, and it's so true, I don't need that much salt. Ooh, I know. Uh, get the Vitapod. Use code NutritionBabe. You can save 10% off. I promise you won't be disappointed. And I don't wanna like promise, but like you get the watermelon, you get the coconut, you get the pomegranate. My kids are obsessed with the cotton candy. You'll be so happy. And it's just enough minerals to help help close the nutrition gap on what we're deficient in as a society while not impacting taste or getting you to feel bloated from just so much unnecessary added salt. So this is the face tutorial, by the way, guys. If you are just tuning in now, we did a whole eyebrow tutorial, um, which is its own video talking about scale fluctuations. We did an eyeshadow tutorial. It's 20 minutes to achieve this perfect eye um, and that we covered emotional eating and free snacks and mindless eating and now with the face tutorial we're really talking about what to look for with a water enhancer which is honestly one of my favorite topics because water first water first I drink so much water and like with the amount of water I drink I I wish I could do it with just pure water but I can't and honestly it's good being that I drink so much water that I'm getting in some added electrolytes throughout the day because if you don't and you're drinking so much water like I am, then you can risk your, you know, being depleted of water. Go ahead and look up. And anytime someone says, could you be drinking too much water? The main concern of that would be that you are depleting electrolytes. So when you drink something that has added electrolytes, you know, like even a modest amount that could help relieve that concern. I love these little powder puffs so you use. Soft. They get into the exact right spot. So I always use a beauty blender to put on powder. You can. Um, sometimes the beauty blender though, it will just get overloaded with products. Uh -huh. And so I have to like if you're, mix, mix, if you're mixing powders and creams, it can kind of get a little sticky and murky and then you don't want to transfer that back onto your face. And you use the Laura Mercier. So right now I'm using the Laura Mercier and you use translucent. The pink one. The pink one is great for under the eyes because it's just like a really nice extra level of brightening. Because I always it's use a very the, the sheer pink. It's a sheer pink, but very very slight. God, I feel like I have not even close to be finishing with my Laura Mercier powder. You use so little that so product little. lasts forever. Even if you need a setting powder, get the Laura Mercier powder. You buy it once and even as a you never have to replace artist, it. Like the big jars take forever to go through. I really, there's um, the mini jars now, and especially if you wanna do multiple colors, you can do those, and it's kinda like a little sample size. If I ever finish my current one, I'm gonna treat myself to the pink one. So this is the translucent one now, the universal translucent. Oh, this is the one that I have. Yeah. So wait, so you're mixing? Oh. Um, no, so I just used the, the pink light under pink the under eye. the eyes, because it's just a real, you like, really bright and it's just a really nice sheer level of coverage it's so interesting that you're using di see this is the difference between a makeup artist you can, and you uh, can use it it's n not anything wrong um it just adds an the extra pink is a little the level. pink setting powder is an extra yeah. level of brightening this is so okay so you would go here and you go under the chin um on top of the chin underneath the cheekbone and it just kind of really sets in the foundation and keeps that knock those is lines not my clean. husband oh see <laughs> i know the knocks say hi um do they have caffeine in them they make one with caffeine but i don't like that when i the caffeine i get every day is beach body energize that i reckon that's the first thing i have first thing in the morning beach body energize one pack and i put in 50 ounces of water but most people put it in 20 ounces of water um so for caffeine i love the beach body energize i have a link for that i could add it somewhere in the comments but i have a link for that on my website alanamolstein.com um that's the best that's the best caffeine 
Um, but this one, the Hydrate by Vitapod, I have for flavor and uh, some electrolytes the other day, no caffeine. Because I'm conscious about caffeine. I don't want to over caffeinate. Okay, so this I definitely don't do. So this is just a little subtle nose contour. It's, it's very subtle. Not super necessary. It's just an added, since we are doing a photo shoot today, it's just an added. No, no, no. I, want, I definitely want you to do this. I just feel like I'm so nervous to do this and it come out too harsh. You're doing it so subtle because you're just using a darker so foundation. I'm using a slightly yeah, darker foundation a cream to do this. bronzer and it's just like I use a very shades. harsh like dark brown sharp line to do my nose, but I typically just stay at the end. And if you want to go even more natural or you're like a beginner or scared to do it, you can always start with a shadow powder. Oh, I feel like shadow is even scarier. Start out light. Shadow can move. Shadow can move, but if you put it on top of all your products when you're done and use a good setting spray. I'm coming together, people. <laughs> I look so much better than the start of all of the lives. Um, water, water about coconut water for electrolytes. So coconut water is amazing for electrolytes. If heaven forbid my kids are dehydrated from being in the sun too long um, or anything like that, I do not run to get them Pedialyte. You know, bless Pedialyte, but like there's artificial flavors, artificial colors, like not what I'm trying to give to my children. Um, so I use coconut water in that situation for them because um, it is nature's electrolytes. It, you know, it's nature's Gatorade is just pure coconut water. So I use it for my children, but for me, it just, it has, it has like, I, bet, I believe 70 calories per cup, a lot of, you know, added sugar. So I try not to drink tons of coconut water, but my kids love it. And it's amazing in a shake. So if right now you're using like unsweetened almond milk in a shake or regular milk or water, I promise you want to make your shake like amazing as like a great okay. treat the weekend, you're doing a bigger workout, use coconut water instead. It's my icon Lara Ross's trick. It will make any protein shake or smoothie or Shakeology creamy and incredible if you use coconut water in a shake. Um, so it's just, Kayla, it's just a matter of like not wanting the calories and adding sugar on a daily basis. Um, did we do face? We are still just working a little bit on We're the We're still face, working on the face. What other yeah. questions, guys? Ooh, thank you for the code, yeah. Um, Kayla, you're coming in with such great questions. Hey, Sarah Meyer. You guys have been coming in with great questions. So now what are we doing? So I'm we... just taking a powder bronzer now and then just lightly going over the areas. We put the cream bronzer to really set it. I am so curious to see because yesterday I used your tip. Uh, Jennifer taught me that when you're contouring, you don't want to use a brown shadow. You want to use a gray So shadows are gray. So if you're carving out a shape and using contour to shape the face, you want to use a cool tone because like shadows cool, are naturally like, cool tone. Like a cool brown that's almost gray because that's yeah. that's what a shadow is typically the color of. But now you're using... But now I'm going thing. back on the with the warm. So now we're warming up the face. And, and you're going higher on the cheekbone. Tip. Go higher on the cheekbone because the further you drag down and make that shadow, the, older the longer you look. it's going to make your I face. I made that mistake yesterday. You want to yesterday. keep everything high. Yeah. I made that big mistake and yesterday. And it lifts everything up. Because where you're going now is where usually I put blush. Straight on the cheekbone. Because usually people go right underneath the cheekbone. That's what I do. But then it just really... It, drags everything down. I'm so not gonna do that again. you wanna keep everything high. Okay, then I need to, I can't wait to see where you put the blush. The blush, I take it on honestly almost up like under the lash line. Okay. Because then it kind of, so you don't get that big whited out area too. It just meshes everything nicely. You, you bring it in high, like right on top of the cheekbone, and then you want to bring it onto the apples. Of the okay, cheek. we're paying attention now. <laughs> okay, so that's the bronzer. That's going everywhere. A great question from Moni Les. She's asking, by the way, Moni uh, used to be my mom's nickname. Aww. She passed away a few years ago, but her mother always calls her Moni. Down the center of the neck. Her name is Monica. Bronzer. Oh, down the center of the neck? Yeah. Messenger I'm going to answer your everything. question, but I got to focus for once I get on this makeup. So you put bronzer down the middle. Down so what, the what's the, the theory that you're supposed to use it on like the sides? Um, it's just where the sun would naturally hit you. And Interesting. Kind of make oh. you bronze anyways. Okay, we're focusing on what you're doing. So, so I'm, I'm just getting some blushes. This is Scott Barnes. Scott Barnes. 
These are blushes or bronzers? This is br blushes. So now I'm bringing it on top of that contour up into the eye line. Go ahead and look up for me. Okay. Just mushing it, really making the face nice and flush. So super young, super youthful. And then you want to drag some Lots down. Of blush makes you young, look young. Onto the apples and accentuate the shape. Oh my God, I'm so happy I'm paying attention to this. Okay, Money Less is asking, how do you get past the uh, afternoon energy slump? So a lot of times we get such a slump in energy in the afternoons and that's when people tend to reach for sugar. Now one of the reasons why people reach for sweets in the afternoons is usually because they've been eating too many carbohydrates and sweets all day. And so they're playing this roller coaster game with their, with their, um, Oh, thank you. A little on the chin. Oh, all the blush goes everywhere. And so they're playing this game with their blood sugar levels all day. By starting the morning with a muffin or a bagel, the blood sugar goes up without protein, and then it slumps. And so then you're looking for another pick-me-up around lunch, which is why you probably go for the chips or fries instead of the salad because your body is now craving more carbs all day to play this roller coaster. So then when, by the time you get to the afternoon, with the lack of sleep and energy you probably had in hydration mixed with the lingering in the background carb cravings and blood sugar dysregulation you know it typically leads people to just crash right into afternoon sweets and it's usually like the perfect storm of okay. your body having these internal cravings uh for more sugar and also the fact mm -hmm. that like you know starbucks mcdonald's your coworkers, everyone kind of is in on the game to push sugar to your face at around that hour at the same time. So it really is a perfect storm. I just want to show what you just did. That was the liquid. This the is the say This is the one product I have liquid to buy that blush. I so and the color is poppy. This is poppy. It's great. It's like this. a really peachy pink. Um so I would never think to buy this, but Jennifer's been using it every single day on me, so it's time I so go ahead and put a cream on top of the powder because then it really melts everything in and it brings back that skin-like satiny finish. So everything's not so matte. Ah, oh, so pretty. Okay, so what do we do about, what do we do about this afternoon slump? I just set up the problem, but like, what do we do to, to solve it? So the first thing is start early in the day. You solve the afternoon slump by preventing it, by making sure that you're having more protein earlier in the day and more veggies earlier in the day, specifically two cups of veggies by 2 p.m. to help keep your blood sugar levels more balanced. Veggies and protein can help curb the blood sugar spikes so that when you go into the afternoon, your cravings can be more controlled and your energy is more controlled. So you're less at a slump at high risk for temptation for anything to get it up. So half the challenge is gonna come from preventative measures. Lots of water throughout the day, lots of veggies, a higher protein, higher fiber breakfast. Then when you're in the situation of the afternoon slump, sometimes it is caffeine for some people if you still have a long night ahead of you and you're not impacted by, your sleep isn't impacted by caffeine, like sometimes uh, green tea or something that's not as in intense as like five espresso shots um, can be helpful. I know a lot of people have like a second energize, um, like that beach body energize that I was talking about earlier, like that caffeine supplement I have in the morning, like some people have an afternoon one. For me, I wouldn't sleep if I did that. So I can't have caffeine in the afternoon. So I usually look for something like, uh, like I just showed you, like a flavored water enhancer, because the hydration is the first step. And then if it's cold, like it's about to be cold in the fall, I'll make myself a decaf tea that's also just like a change in flavor or I'll have something that's modest caffeine like a light green tea or a peach tea like a fruit tea tends to have some caffeine but not too much or a white oolong. Okay, I guess we have to close this um, and then maybe a smart snack. So cucumbers, tzatziki, hummus, something that has lots of veggies, protein like a hard boiled egg, a beach bar, turkey slices, something that will give you sustained energy so you can make through the rest of the day feeling refreshed, satisfied, not stuffed, not spiked, not slumped, but just steady and in control. All right, I love you guys. We're closing in on eyes. Uh, we're closing in on eyes and face, so we can go on to the next live. And then we'll do hair, I guess, answering your questions mm -hmm. on live. So come back, because Jennifer's incredible at hair. Bye.